everybody, Spurgle here. Welcome to my Beginner Basics Modding Daisy Tutorials. Episode 3, Vanilla Item Edit. Let's start by launching Daisy Tools. So it mounts our P drive like I showed you in Episode 1. Open your P drive. Here is mine with my current projects and the unpacked Daisy files. Let's start a new project by creating its root folder. Beginner Basics. Open up the folder and create a new text document called config.cpp. Open this with Notepad++. Here you can see I already have a template. I'll put this in a download link in the description. Copy over the contents of the template into your config CPP. This is the main config for your mod, so it needs a name. My preference is to use the root directory as my add-on name. So let's edit this. That has been changed in the whole document. Here you can see the commented out section. This is not required until we start using script. Now we're going to want to find the item we want to edit somewhere in the extracted DAISY files. So back to the P drive and open up the DAISY folder. In here you'll find all of the vanilla items, their configs and their P3Ds. Just have a hunt around until you find what you want. For this example, I'm going to edit the first aid kit. Which I know is in gear and it is a container. Here you can see the P3D which is a 3D model, the data folder which contains textures and RV maps and the config.cpp. Open that up. Because we are editing a class that is contained within this config we need this add-on name in our required add-ons. Paste that in there. Back in the first aid kits config cpp, let's find the first aid kit. Copy the whole class entry for the first aid kit. Paste it in the class cfg vehicles section of your config. Scroll up to the top here and we have the item class and the base class for your item. We need to call the base class up. So type class and copy the base class here followed by a semicolon. Now this is our item that we're editing. We can delete anything that we're not editing but we'll leave the scope to. So I don't want the name, the description, model, rotation flags or weight. But I am editing the item size. So let's make the first aid kit bigger and have even more storage. Not going to ed edit anything else in this config so let's get rid of all of that because it is not needed. And that is our first aid kit edited. Now, I don't only want to edit the first aid kit. I want to add to it. So let's make it so it can attach to an existing item slot, such as the belt slot or the canteen slot, to be more specific. So, back to your DAISY folder, and let's find the canteen. It's going to be in gear and drink canteen is right there. So let's open up this config cpp. Now this time we don't need the class name 
of the config CPP because we're only using it as a reference. Here's the canteen, and the canteen attaches to inventory slot belt left. So let's copy that out and put it in our for edited first aid kit. Paste that in there, click save. That's it, we are done for this episode. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you next time when I show you how to set up Add on Builder, pack this mod, and test it.